All right, Mal, a pair of assists and a nice 3 nothing win. Uh, just take us through the, uh, the goals that you helped produce and uh, just the overall team performance. Uh, really, really happy, uh, really satisfied for the performance of the team. I think it's, it's very important to win at home and make a statement that uh, we want to protect our fields and we want to protect our kingdom. And, and on the assists, really happy I could help the team with two assists today. Uh, I think uh, regaining possession and moving the ball forward was really key today. Uh, and I think we were really uh, lethal in those moments. And so really happy I could help the team with the assist and really happy we could get the victory today. It's still early in the season, but how do you see confidence growing amongst your teammates match to match? I think it's, it's growing every game. I think uh, uh, confidence is very important and we're going to need it for sure for the rest of the season. And, and I think confidence is something you build. So you need game after game after game to build that. Uh, and I think today was a huge step uh, to gain our confidence for players to gain their confidence as well. Uh, players that maybe haven't uh, have a lot of minutes yet uh, and they got uh, a decent amount of minutes today. So I think it helps the team and it helps everyone be ready for, for all the challenges that we have next. Can you talk about the chemistry you have with your goal scorers? Because you've managed to set up both Gino and Luca for goals today. So can you talk about, can you talk about that? Uh, well, I've been playing with them already for the past two years. So I think uh, time is key in, in building chemistry. Uh, and, and I feel really comfortable uh, playing with Gino, playing with Luca. Uh, I think I, I understand them uh, really well. Uh, and I was happy I was in the right spots, in the right moments today to, to set them up for success. And, and hopefully we can, we can keep improving and uh, keep playing better game after game. Speaking of confidence, how do you see Juanvi's confidence growing match to match? It's, it's unbelievable. I think uh, Juanvi has been a, a even though it's early in the season, uh, I think he's been a, a key part of our team so far. And, and I for sure know he's going to be uh, really important for the rest of the season. And, and even even him and other players, especially new players in the team, uh, they've all adapted really well. And so I think uh, they, they are really important and we need them for sure for the rest of the season. And he's responded to the challenge on the field, clean sheet today. A hundred percent. That's something uh, we, we wanted to, to, to grow as a team is how we take pride in, in the clean sheets. Uh, and I think, uh, and I think, even though we were winning three zero today, uh, we always wanted that clean sheet, uh, no matter what. Uh, and we're happy that we got it today. You said that the team was living on the edge during the North Florida game. How would you contrast your performance today to the North Florida game, and how would you say the team improved? Uh, I mean, I think we also lived on the edge today when it was one zero. Uh, they had a couple of chances where they could tie the game. Uh, so I think we we we've been. We become a stronger team when we have to to live in the edge, when we have to live in those uh, in those fragile moments where the game can go one way or the other. Uh, and I think that's something we've improved uh, from last season, and I think we can keep getting better. Uh, but I mean, we were for sure on, on the edge today. But uh, then we got to manage the second goal, the third goal, and then we found a little bit more of of, of peace in the game. But I think uh, I think that's something we have to get better at, and we are getting better for sure. What do you think you need to do to come out of this West Coast? This California game at the end of next week with, with the um, I mean, I think we got to treat it as every other game. Uh, there's obviously a factor of traveling, uh, of the time difference, but I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to be 11 v 11 on a soccer field just as we, how we did today, just as we did last week. So I think we got to keep doing uh, what we believe in, uh, stick to our fundamentals, to our principles, uh, take care of our bodies, and, and just get ready for the game. How can a challenge of a game like that? set you up for the beginning of what will be more competitive even than conference play? Uh, yeah, I mean, conference is, is around the corner, so uh, I think the, the UC Irvine game is going to be really important for us. It's going to be a, a great uh, preparation game, and at the same time, always, always like as always, we want to compete and we want the victory, so I think it's going to be a really, really good game uh, where we're going to face challenges, we're going to face uh, a good opposition, and it's going to be a great preparation for our conference. What do, what do you as an individual and the team do well at today that you really want to make sure you take with you out west? Um, I think we were able to, when we regained possession today, keep the ball. I think um, last games we were a little bit uh, rushing a lot going in transition, from transition to transition. Uh, and I think today we were able to find that calm, uh, put the ball on the ground, uh, keep possession, and then uh, stay loyal to our style of play. So, I think that's something um, we got better at today from the past games, and something we want to uh, keep from and keep for the next games. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thank you.